What's up everybody, Kira Gomes here and Welcome back. So I recently did a video where I bought a mystery brick of rare decks off eBay and I unboxed those playing cards in a video. One of the decks that I got kind of blew me away was the Clip Joint playing cards by Ace Fulton's Casino. If you're not familiar with Ace Fulton's, there's a little bit of hype around the company. They're designed by Brad Fulton, one of the founding fathers of custom design playing cards. Anyway, I was really stoked to be getting that deck in my mystery brick and to my surprise, after I uploaded the video, Brad Fulton followed me on Instagram. We got to talking and it got me thinking that I've never done a designer spotlight for such a prolific designer in the cardistry community. As well, it gives me a reason to talk about some of the things that I love most in this world, which are playing cards, cardistry, and those who dedicate their life and creativity to designing cards. So today I'm going to be going over my top three favorite decks of Ace Fulton's playing cards as well. I'll be talking a little bit about the history of the company and a little bit more about Brad. All that and more coming up, but before we get into it, please do drop a like on this video and subscribe, okay, if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's roll that intro and get you guys on your way. Let's go. All right, now if you're new to cardistry or you just don't have that much knowledge of the history quite yet, let me tell you a little bit more about Ace Fulton's. Brad Fulton is a playing card designer. He's also a talented photographer and kind of an everyman. He was doing some exclusive work with Dan and Dave Buck, who you guys probably know as the godfathers of cardistry. Brad was working exclusively with the Buck twins on things like the Smoke and Mirrors and Dan and Dave decks until the year 2010 when Brad Fulton designed the Ace Fulton's Clip Joint playing cards. The Ace Fulton's Clip Joint deck was among the first Ace Fulton decks to be released and it led to a slew of other designs and other decks in the future. Now when this deck came out in 2010, it wasn't extremely popular to see custom decks of cards at all. And especially if you did see them, it was very rare that you would see things like customized faces. I really think in my opinion that Brad was forward thinking and seeing what cards and card flourishing could be as opposed to what it currently was. There's obviously evidence that this was a good move considering the recent boom in cardistry is kind of a mainstream art of its own. And I think comparatively looking at where we're at with playing cards today, where there's ultimately a new custom deck of cards coming out every single week, the clip joint deck came out at a time when you didn't see custom decks of cards as much, which made it extremely valuable and popular pretty much right away. The clip joint deck would eventually kick off what would become a little bit of hype that surrounds the Ace Fulton's playing cards. The design work of this deck is immaculate. The line work that creates the shape of an owl. These decks have gone on to inspire all kinds of custom playing card designs over the years. And in fact, this is a deck that as it stands today is quite valuable online. The black Fulton's clip joint, which is the one I have here, ranges for between $25 and $40 on eBay. I don't think I need to explain how valuable that is for 52 pieces of paper, but it's definitely well earned. This was a limited deck printed a long time ago. They handle well, they hold up well, the customization is beautiful, and they're made by a designer who has proven to be a valuable asset to the playing card community in the years since. So taking a look at this and seeing what a deck of cards could be, what makes this number three on my list is that as somebody who's put out my own deck of cards, I know how special that is. And as somebody who has spent the hours trying to come up with something unique and different, I know how important it is when the product is done that you're proud of it. For me, I can only hope that the Slow Hands V1 is going for $40 on eBay one day, and I can only hope that I've made as much of an impact with that deck one day as this one has made on me. Now, Clip Joint was in 2010, and there was all kinds of decks that came out between then and now from Ace Fulton's, but the Clip Joint deck would kick off what, in my opinion, is the definitive Ace Fulton's deck, and that is the Ace Fulton's Casino. Over the years, there's been tons of iterations of this deck, different colorways, different slight variations to the design. The original Ace Fulton's Casino decks were kind of a madhouse of hype. As soon as they came out, they were extremely popular and sought after. And every time a new colorway came out, it was pretty hard to get your hands on them. And this is an interesting thought, but I think it kind of adds merit to the hype decks in general. Now, as somebody who thinks playing cards should be affordable as you know, there's something you want to be used by everybody. I also understand the amount of time that can go into creating something special. And I also know that if it's in a limited quantity, people are willing to pay more for it. The Ace Fulton's Casino are no exception, but I really think you get what you pay for in terms of the quality of design and just the thoughtfulness that goes into the subtle things. So next up on my list is the Ace Fulton's Casino, but these are the Femme Fatale Pink Edition. Now these came in two colorways. There was black with a pink logo and there was pink with a black logo. The pink ones with the black logo are definitely a 
among my favorites. I remember when I first got this deck, I was blown away by how nice the matte tuck was and the embossing of the logo on the front just made it all the more special, I guess. Subtle things were added to the design to increase the value of it. For example, you get a custom seal that has great pink lettering. It matches the deck. It's a beautiful matte tuck box and it has printing on the inside of it. So for collectors out there, this gives you an experience where even if you don't open the deck of cards, you still have the art to appreciate. These cards also feel extremely good in comparison to the clip joints, they're extremely thin. These cards were printed by the USPCC in modern days with modern resources on modern stock. So to keep up with the expectations that cards from the USPCC have to be thin, crispy, and feel delicious, this deck delivers on every single front and they definitely did not skimp out on the crushing. I can tell you these cards are thin. By comparison to the clip joint, these cards are a lot simpler, but for some of us, that's what we prefer. I know that in my case, I like to perform magic with decks that look like they could be stolen from an actual casino. I love that the Fulton's Casino deck also come with Arco standard faces. It adds a level of vintage to the deck. It also adds a little bit of elegance to it. It looks a little older and it just feels a little bit more rich. Now this is not the classic Ace Fulton's Casino. The Femme Fatale version has actually spawned a modern Ace Fulton's Casino. They come in red, blue, black and pink, and pink and black. These ones feature a thinner border than the original ones, but they also have a little bit more of a minimalist design. Personally, I prefer the thinner border and the pink colorway to any of the other versions. This is a deck that just works for me on every single front. So we got Brad Fulton. He's working with Dan and Dave Buck. These three dudes are becoming legends in the cardistry community. I mean, every single person in the cardistry community at this time knew who these dudes were. We see card companies go all the time. They just come and then they leave. But Fulton's has been around for years and is still producing high quality playing cards. And now we get to my favorite Ace Fulton's deck, which is the Ace Fulton's Vintage Casino playing cards. These decks come in two colorways, a metallic orange color and a metallic brown color. Now I love both of these, but if I just had to pick one, I would go with the orange. This is one of the latest offerings from Ace Fulton's Casino, but the Vintage Casino line pays homage to the original Ace Fulton's while giving you something new and a little zestier. You get the matte tuck box, you get all the bells and whistles that come with, but you also get crushed stock in an unbelievably gorgeous back design. Now it's hard to see on camera, but this is actually a metallic orange. So if I go like that and you see that shine, that is because the ink is very metallic. The logo has been reimagined to look a little bit more vintage, but it does still hold the classic Arco standard faces. These cards are also on crushed stock, so they're very thin, they feel really good, and it's been a pleasure handling these. Now in terms of hype, these cards are definitely valuable. I think when I picked up this deck, it was like $30 aftermarket. But for me, the only thing that makes the difference is who's creating it and why. Brad Fulton has made contributions to the cardistry and card design community that have stemmed back for years, really since the beginning of all of this. In fact, some of you guys don't know this, but Brad Fulton was at the very first Cardistry Con. Before it was called Cardistry Con, Dan and Dave had an event in LA. That's where they met Brad Fulton and this legacy began. And look over the years at the amount of products, the amount of customers, the amount of hype that has surrounded these brands. So with all that being said, Brad, if you're watching this, thank you. Thank you so much for everything you've done to change all of our lives. So there you have it, folks. My top three Brad Fulton designed playing cards. We got the clip joint. We got the Ace Fulton's Femme Fatale, and we got the Ace Fulton's Vintage Casino. Are you guys Fulton's fans? Because if so, definitely let me know in the comments. Let me know what your favorite Fulton's deck is. Thank you, Brad. Thank you, Buck Twins. And thank you to all of you for watching this video. Make sure you drop a like so I can continue making these videos, and I hope you'll consider subscribing to help me support the channel. With all that being said, I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of their day. I got some shuffling to do. <laughs> all right, peace out, guys.